Hey, how's it going everybody? Today I'm going to be bringing you a couple of uh, Virtual Beast combo tutorials uh, since Canahawk came off the list. Um, of course, a lot of people are going to be posting videos like this or, you know, a fair amount of people just because of the hype and, you know, there is a lot of people out there that do enjoy Virtual Beast. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to be showcasing a couple combos. Uh, I did have one on my channel um, previously. I think it was about two months ago or something like that. And it's gotten a ton of views as of uh, recently, or as of late, whatever. Um, but yeah, I'll be showcasing the other two combos you can do. Um, and I'll be starting off with the um, Rampangu Elder. Now Rampangu Elder has gotten a lot better because of Kenahawk being at 3. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to get right into it. If you like this, go ahead and leave a like and a comment if you have any questions. And if you're new to the channel, uh, consider subscribing. I do... You know, deck profiles, combo videos, openings, you know, just a Yu-Gi-Oh channel. So if you enjoy watching Yu-Gi-Oh and you want another channel to watch, uh, go ahead and consider subscribing. So you start off by normal summoning an Elder, uh, which allows you to get another normal summon of a Ritual Beast monster. Now the Spiritual Beast count towards that, so you would get another normal summon of Rampangu. Uh, and now Kenhawk being at 3, it opens up so many more plays. Because before, uh, you wouldn't be able to banish uh, the Canahawk to get the um, Spiritual Beast Canahawk to the graveyard. Because then that would be your one uh, Canahawk gone. But now that it's a 3, you're able to banish it. Because uh, that's his effect. It lets you banish one uh, fusion from the extra deck to send uh, one with the same attributes. So Thunder, and the Canahawk is uh, Thunder. So, um, so you send that to the graveyard. Uh, and then you would um, fusion our contact fuse into your other Kenhawk. And I only have one, so I'm going to be proxying the other Elder, or uh, Kenhawk, sorry. Uh, so you would summon that one out and get your. Uh, you would target the Elder and the other Kenhawk in your graveyard. Uh, and then you would chain his effect to tag out, sending the other Kenhawk to the graveyard and special summoning out the uh, two. Uh, the elder or the tamer and the beast. And then uh, you can use uh, Rampangu's effect again, which I would uh, go ahead and uh, oh, and you'd get your search. Sorry about that. <laughs> you'd get your search for the Canahawk, and then uh, use uh, Rampangu's effect again. I would do the Alti Paleo just to get the um, Winda to the graveyard. Uh, so then you would Link Summon. And so the Chemo Falco. Um, and then Chemo Falco says if you banish one Virtual Beast card from your graveyard, you get an additional normal summon. So I'd banish the Winda. Uh, and then summon the Laura. Laura would, when she's normal summoned, you get to special summon a Spiritual Beast from your graveyard. Uh, and then you could use Canahawk to banish um, a Virtual Beast monster from the deck. Uh, I go in and do a Paleo. Um, and then you can contact fuse. Now this one be able to be special summoned again because uh, each ritual beast can only be special summoned once per turn. Uh, and you go into Kenhawk again. And then you would do the same thing where you would target um, most likely Laura and the Kenhawk. And then you would chain the effect, bringing these two guys out, uh, sending the Kenhawk back to the graveyard, uh, getting your search. And you would get steeds, or I would grab steeds unless, uh, it all depends on what's in your hand. If you already have a steeds, then you can grab an ambush or, you know, whatever you're missing. Um, and then you can contact fuse again. Now, uh, or actually before that, you would banish, um, go and banish uh, the Canahawk, send that to the banish pile. And then you would contact fuse once more uh, into your Canahawk for the last time. But you're going to get one more search, so that's always nice. Uh, you can go ahead and target the Ulti Guy Apaleo, and um, you want to keep your Apaleo and your Winda in the banish pile, so you can probably send back Laura, and you get your last search for the turn. Again, grab whatever you're missing, but for this uh, little combo video, I'll grab Ambush. Uh, so you'll be sitting on the Ambush and the Steeds, and whatever else you drew in your hand, uh, and then on the draw phase, you can tag out, and... Um, you'd want to go ahead and tag out into the window 
and the Apaleo, and make sure you summon them to the zones um, Chemofocals points to, because they gain a 500 um, attack boost, or 600 attack and defense boost, and then you could also use the effect to banish uh, the Laura from Graveyard to give uh, your Ritual Beast monsters an additional 500 from a Paleo. So these guys will be boosted by 1100, this guy will get boosted by 500, and you also have, uh, of course, Disruptions. Yeah, that's a pretty awesome combo now that Canahawk is back at 3. Before um, the combo wasn't uh, that great, you want to end on so many searches. Uh, but yeah, so next I'll be showing you the um, the Virtual Beast Tamer Wen and the Gold Sark uh, here in a second. I'm gonna cut the video and clear the board, set everything up. So I'll be back. All right, so now I'm gonna be going over the Gold Sark Wen combo. Um, now this isn't going to be seen as much since Gold Sark is at one. Um, but I do run one Wen and one Gold Sark in my uh, Ritual Beast deck. And I've seen some people running three wins still, uh, just because she does grab a Ritual Beast from the Bash Pile. Um, but I like it at 1-1. One, one. But anyways, uh, I just wanted to show this combo, just in case you're picking up the deck. It helps to really understand um, a lot of the combos that the deck can do. Uh, so you'd go ahead and start off with Gold Sark, and then you'd banish the Kenhawk. Uh, then you would normal summon the Wen. When would bring back the uh, Kanahawk. Kanahawk would activate its effect, uh, banishing Rampangu. And then you would contact fuse. Now, the Ritual Beast can only be supposed to summon once per turn, uh, the Tamers and the Beast. So, uh, Kanahawk would not be able to be special summon anymore. You would go into Kanahawk, of course, and you would target the Wen and the Kanahawk to send back to the graveyard to get the search. Then you would uh, chain his effect, uh, effect to tag out and bring back the Wen and the uh, Rampangu. This would still go to the graveyard, so you'd still get your search uh, and you'd be searching out Laura. Then you could use Rampangu's effects. So now you could either banish the Ulti Paleo or the Ulti Gaia Paleo, uh, just depending on what you want in the graveyard. I usually do the Gaia Paleo just because I want uh, Winda in the graveyard. Uh, so that would go to the graveyard, and then you can link summon into the Chemo Falcos. Uh, use Chemo Falcos effects, banishing the Kanahawk, and you get the additional normal summon. Uh, Laura's effect would activate, bringing back one from the graveyard, which would be Winda, and then you can contact fuse. Um, unfortunately, that's the only contact fuse you can do, unless you have some sort of extender in your hand. Uh, but you would go into the Kanahawk again. Uh, Kanahawk, you would um, target these two to send back to the graveyard since you can't tag out. Uh, so you get that search. So you would search either the Ambush or the Steeds. Or if you have both of these in your hand, you could always uh, search for an Elder uh, just to set up plays for next turn. Um, but yeah, depending on what you need, you can search any of those. I'll just do Steeds for this example. Um, but yeah, that would be the end board. Um, it's not the greatest end board uh, because you don't have um, Spiritual Beast Apaleo to buff the attacks or anything like that. Uh, but it really depends on what's in your hand as well. Uh, but on their draw phase, you can go ahead and tag out. Uh, even though Kenox at 3, you might as well just go ahead and tag him out to bring back the Winda and the Kenhawk. And now I like to special summon them in these zones Chemo Falco's points to because they get a 600 buff to their defense. And now you have, uh, you know, up to three, uh, you have three spiritual beasts that you can uh, destroy your opponent's monsters, uh, up to three. And if you have an ambush, you also have your graveyard set up to where you have um, Wen and um, Rampangu. But yeah, uh, it's a pretty cool combo. It's nice to have, just in case you don't draw the best. And those are the two cards you see in your opening hand. And also, uh, on a, one last note, uh, when Winda is destroyed and sends to the graveyard, you get to supposed to summon one Ritual Beast monster from your extra deck, ignoring its summoning conditions. So you can do you know, anything. Uh, you can even go into your other Gaia Paleo if you wanted to. Uh, but yeah, uh, hopefully you guys got a good grasp on some of the combos. Um, if you want to see the bread and butter combo, you can check out my channel. I'll um, most likely be leaving a link to the original video where I show the bread and butter elder Kenha combo. 
Uh, but yeah, until next time, uh, I'll see you guys later.